And on ladder, you know, they, no, I was a, I was a woman, so they said God, but that's okay, that's okay. But you know, they 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 lost, and they typed to me, "You're such a god, GG." And you know, I, I'm I'm suspecting that they weren't serious, but they're not wrong. So, I yeah, uh, yeah that was I mean, correct I, call. I, I subscribe to that theory. Exactly. I am god of, of well, judging time Something. correctly anyways. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Time lord. Exactly. I can, when I, when I look at a clock, I know what time it is. So, in the bottom left. <laughs> uh, I don't know why that got me, but it got me. <laughs> I just, I was thinking of Mean Girls, and she's like, you know, it's like I have ESPN or something. She's like, oh, really? Yeah, when it rains, I can tell when it's going to rain. Well, I can tell when it is raining. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's such a good movie. Uh, yeah. uh, and the bottom left is the blue Protoss. It is Probe. Certainly is. And in the top right, it is the Terran, and it is Expect. I don't know a whole lot about Expect, but I do know a whole lot about a Probe. This kid is, at one point, the best player from my country. Uh, right now, I'd say that that moniker is probably in Cedar's hands, who is also in this bracket, playing in the loser's bracket at the moment. Um, probe has had a, a bit of a tumultuous year in a bit, where he's sort of gone up and down. Um, normally, I would favor him against most people, especially North American players. He was very, very, very good, primarily playing on the North American ladder and the Korean ladder and having some very, very well done build. Like, like he just basically would follow what the Koreans do, like a lot of people that play on the Korean ladder. Mm. And he would make it, uh, and, and he would do it correctly. Like, you know, part of the reason when you see those build orders from Koreans, you, you try and do them yourself and you're like, oh, why aren't I winning games? Because you need mechanics as well. And Pro's mechanics have been good enough to be able to show that they, uh, you know, that he has the, the, the skills to pay the bills. But expect going for the high ground CC here. Doesn't even want to tussle that probe. It's Oops. actually, hmm. Hmm. That is maybe a reaction to what Protoss are generally doing nowadays, which is the forward positioning of the gateway in the Cybernetics core. But he SCV scouted, so unless I miss the timing on that, that doesn't really explain it either. I, I guess whether they put the gateway forward or not is, is not as important as whether or not they go with Cybernetics core before Nexus. But still, it's it's safer than it needs to be. Yeah, certainly. Uh, Stargate opening here from Probe. Uh, not something that he's always been doing against Terran. He's been lacking the sort of the, the blink openers for the most part, but switching gears a little bit against Expect. Maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe it's a, a, a reaction. Maybe he has a new way of playing the matchup. Maybe. Do have to mention that we're getting some weird server crossover. I don't know which one they settled on, but I guess and we're still in America, so I guess West. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, yeah, I, I guess America. it does actually make sense, the most sense. But still, it's it's weird because Expect is a Taiwanese Terran and Probe is um, Australian. So, mm -hmm. not the weirdest it can be, right? But it's going to be yeah. different uh, clash of styles, I'm guessing. And sometimes Probe is international, but I believe right now he's in Australia. Right. Wouldn't mind opening here from Expect, a pretty standard way of opening TVP. Um, Probe's got a nice little sp split here of your stalkers, just in case of like a Reaper jumping in, trying to deny scouting. That's an interesting gateway wall here. I guess that also stops the Reaper, so now he doesn't have to worry about it anymore. He just brings both stalkers to the ramp. Exactly. That's nice. So his Oracle is going to be the latest scout possible, because I believe that Expect's Reaper is not going to see it. Just barely doesn't see it, but that is good. Now, Wood of Mine usually just positions itself in one place, and then Marines another, and it's it's good to go. So that's exactly what happens here. Um, yeah, so the defense is good. Probe should anticipate this. Ooh, that was close. And then not lose the Oracle. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Oops, oh, easy. He didn't notice it. it. Oh. I thought he saw the laser and he was microing away from it. Yes, yeah, not. me too. That is a well, nice rough start here. Uh, expects Liberator was not seen, so that could do some damage. Thank you, Laser SCQ, for the ten dollar donation. Love your casting, dear, as always. Thanks for casting. Smiley face. Thank you. Thank you, Laser SCQ. It's very cool of you. Hmm. We do see a lot of tank pushes without stim from the uh, Koreans, for instance, in this matchup. Expects might be doing doing something that still has stim, but still is, is a lot more focused on the tanks initially, 
Let's see if he if he moves out. He sets up the plus one weapon, so there won't be the the true timing until that's done. Nice pull away, perfect pull yeah. away from the liberator. Yeah, probe, in, probe instantly reacting to the liberator here and uh, expect. He's keeping tabs on that Liberator, so I doubt he'll lose it, although three Stalkers is pretty deadly. Oh, he's got some dead space here. Does he escape? Yes, he does. That's the nice thing about this map. Nice uh, slash bad, depending on what side of the fence you're on. True. So the Phoenix is going to come out and take care of that, no problem, but expect is moving out with this little tank push. Uh, we usually see some SCVs brought along with it. You might get the opportunity to build a bunker, and especially if they're going for a third Nexus, you could definitely start a slow push there. But it's definitely, it's more that how fast it is, right? Like, it's not coming with plus one weapons, not coming with combat shields. You are um, just pretty, pretty much prematurely moving out. And Probe does see it. It's already on his side of the map. So this could get nasty if his stasis ward doesn't do some serious work. And it's scanned. Yeah, scanning that ward is a very good start here for Expect Push. Third is starting to take that damage from these Marines, and Probe needs to come up with something here. The extra five gateways finishing is going to be nice, but it's not like he has charge finishing up. Um, just dealing with this with Stalkers is going to be a little tough. He does pick up a tank with an Oracle there. That's nice. Yeah. And two SCVs did come forward and start building bunkers. There is a bit of a clock for Probe. He can't let those finish, but three Widow Mines providing some really nice defense against the Oracles. The tank gets way too many like shots. I think it was... That one extra shot at the end was a big deal, and the one before that even maybe maybe shouldn't have happened. This has not been the best defense. Probe loses no. his third, loses units as well, and hasn't even cleaned it up yet. No, and expects getting a third CC back at home. So while this was, you know, a big two base attack, it's not an all in. Um, because if you do big damage like that, you can actually just turn it into a macro game. You're like, all right, well, you know, now I'm going to have a bit of a lead here. I can just get that CC and. Get that extra bit of go up to five barracks is worth of production and play a TVP with a bit of a with a bit of a lead in hand. Mm -hmm. You know, before any other Terran complainer comes forward and says that, yeah, a bit of a lead killed third Nexus. Super cool. I mean, <laughs> so well, keep in mind that I am a Terran player when I say these things. I'm trying to. You know. No, I yeah, me too. Yeah. Well. I mean, the truth is that there could still be some problems with Expect's macro behind this. Uh, you know, there's, he's, he's not a notable Taiwanese player quite yet compared to the, well, um, well, compared to the other guys we, we had, um, may or may not have been disqualified. But anyways, uh, so there, there's got to be reasons for it, right? So there's certainly still slip-ups he can make, and Probe is usually, I mean, he's a, he's a tournament contender, right? He can recover from things like that, and at the end of the day, if you if you can just kind of, like, shake it off, get up to charge, take a couple good fights, surprise them with a left attack here, right attack there, things could still turn in his favor, and here he starts with the Blink Stalkers. There's a, quite a few of them, so this is, like, some serious pressure power, even against yeah, Stim. Yeah, up a tank and Blink out. Exactly. Uh, but... Expect actually zoning quite nicely here. The, the bio are perfectly positioned to keep those stalkers away from the tanks, or at least make it a very unattractive um, dive if you wanted to blink aggressively. Probe's also getting charged and going up into, um, you know, quite a few gates. He hasn't taken his uh, fifth and sixth gas, mm. so he might be going for just a, uh, an extra few gateway units here and just trying to trying to just overwhelm the Terran a little bit. But he is getting that Templar archive, so never mind. He will be taking those gases eventually. He should. You certainly think so. And there is a style that is all about Stalker Zealot that you even get a fourth Nexus very quickly, but... Okay. The water damage, but uh, Zest does it as well. <laughs> I was going to say, I was thinking more Zest, but... Yeah. Um, but yeah, it'll come down eventually. He's already banking enough gas that, you know, should that be done, he'd be warping it in right now, but it's not quite done, so missing some powerful Archons here. His Stalker's going to come in from behind to take out the tanks, which would be ideal, but there's still so much bio that's going to shred through everything. Yeah, and this Widow Mine's actually going to stop up his Zealot as well. Ooh, a pullback on those charge loss means that expecting to pick up a, full, a few of them. Doesn't stop this Zealot warp in it, but I thought he was going to there. Plus one armor is about to kick in for Pro, but he's getting those force fields to keep the bio back. But unfortunately, it just seems like he's bleeding out too many charge lots here. And that's the second third Nexus to go down, which is a weird sentence, but that second third Nexus is going to go down. And Probe's going for the big blink, but it's a, it's a Hail Mary here, and I don't think it's going to be enough. Expect is all over Probe in game one. Yeah. Really nice follow-up to what was already a very big blow to probe, and then and there was definitely some awkward points about that fight. Plus one armor wasn't done, and sometimes like those last few force fields almost looked like they worked against the charge lots. It was, yeah. I mean, it was just not enough in general. That many stalkers is really going to be useful for those snipes, and not necessarily as replacements of of mass amount of charge lots. Yeah, Hold you can on. see that probe was like 
the plan there was to cut into the bio and force it to, you know, get get minced up by the charge loss, but expects uh, has managed to circumnavigate all that. Yeah, pretty clever. Mm -hmm. Nice execution of a TVP. Probe is going to have to just be. I mean, really, I, I think his main problem was not scouting the push out fast enough. He didn't have a, an adept uh, scouting it. His oracles were yeah. in the middle of the map as he was responding. Uh, one of them something. died to a widow mine, so he lost a lot of information from that early oracle as well. But That's losing true. the first oracle is usually pretty devastating. Yeah, exactly. So, in my eyes, it was a lot about the scouting, but it was it was even with scouting, it's a it's a hard push to hold perfectly. So, um, you know, depending on what the second map is, and it's done by Vito's, we could see something very similar. But if it's like Parasite, for instance, then we probably wouldn't. Good old Parasite. If it's Parasite, everyone get comfortable. Make sure you get snacks and <laughs> plenty of plenty of hydration. Otherwise, you might uh, you might just dehydrate and uh, die out in front of your PC from, you know. Parasite games? Yeah, you know, malnutrition. You know, parasite, <laughs> parasite games. Next up is Blue Shift. Blue Shift. Blue Shift. Blue. Happy Days. I actually like Blue Shift a lot. Don't see it enough these days. Well, was, apparently Roddy doesn't like it. And he's the only person I've heard who yeah. says anything about it. Yeah. He's, like, I remember when he was uh, talking about Blue Shift, he's like, uh, I really hate this map, obviously. And I'm like, is it obvious? <laughs> like, like, is it meant to be a, is it meant to be a, a known fact that Protoss don't like this map or that you don't like it? I don't think it's a Protoss thing. I think it is just a Roddy thing. It's, I mean, most people say it's Catalyst turned on its side or something. It's it's the most basic, it's the most basic bitch map we have. I'll say it. It's just. <laughs> oh, she said it. Oh my God. Oh, whoa, ooh, Hello, yeah. Reddit. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just, it's not, there's not anything too fancy about it. There's nothing not fancy. Like, it, you know, there's two Zelnagas that are in perfectly normal places. Maybe they could have gone without them, I guess. But it's about as stock standard as you can get. So I don't know why. I don't know specifically why he doesn't like it. Someone tried to tell me, and I was like, oh, I don't actually. I'm never going to play Roddy in a game and be like, aha, you didn't veto yeah. Blue Shift. Now I'll have the they upper hand. You, you realized you didn't care, so you didn't retain the information. Yeah, exactly. Happens to me a lot. Yeah, totally. All right, so it's upright. He's down one. It is the blue Protoss probe. Certainly is. And the bottom left, winning game number one. This is expect the Taiwanese Terran. Hmm. Executing some good old-fashioned tank pushes, which uh, dominate the matchup. Maybe some yeah. alternatives with uh, more all-in in mind, but that's one of the more standard ones we see. These these two base pushes from Terran looks extremely powerful, and you know a lot of Terrans have got that opinion out there where they just don't think that the the, the late game is winnable at the moment. Right. They think that Protoss has too many tools, the late game's too hard to deal with, spellcasters, splash damage, colossus, yada yada yada. Um, so they just try and end the game in the mid game, which Terrans have gone through what feels like like sometimes they feel like it's doable, sometimes they don't feel like it's doable. Um, but usually, for the most of StarCraft II's life, Terran have felt like late game TVP is not something that they want to do. Right. And it's there right now. That's the state of TVP. So, I mean, to give some maybe perspective from a Protoss side, or just to, you know, explain the struggles of what could happen, because again, that wasn't all about the lack of scouting. It still would have been difficult to hold anyways. There are a few builds that I think do better against it than others, so sometimes you will see it slap down and like, why would you even try type deal? But it is one of those opportunities that I feel like, you know, it's especially apparent in TVZ, but where you can just kind of do your thing for seven minutes and then you push and then they you expect them to accommodate you. You know, that's that's where I see tank pushes. That's where I see like 3CC builds and TVZ. Whereas I, I feel like previously, you know, if you went for a push, you saw the openings of any two base Protoss all in or harassment. But because you go for tanks and a decent amount of Marines, like you don't actually... You typically don't lose to two base all lanes when you do builds like this because you're also setting up a nice defensive structure and get a bunker and you're kind of good to go. Um, so it kind of sometimes feels maybe a little bit BS when you see it work out perfectly. They get to do seven minutes of their own execution and kind of get the the eyes crossed and, and the eyes crossed, huh? the eyes dotted and the T's crossed. Mm -hmm. Maybe a couple of wood mines here and there, right? Liberators, sure, but. And then it's the, the Protoss's prerogative to try and defend against it when they're all still trying to deal with the harassment. 
it can be nasty, and it can be really nice as a Terran player to have such a seemingly safe build, but it's not the end-all be-all. There are responses. True that. I mean, I'm of the believer that late game TVP is doable. It's just that Terrans don't want to figure it out at the moment, which is my okay. opinion of most matchups. Like, I really, I'm really going to blame balance. I'm really going to, I'm really going to blame this and that. Keep in mind that I say this all as at the uh, at being a low-level player, but I am, I am similar to Artosis, and then I believe that, you know, players with enough time will figure things out, mm. whatever stage of the game, they will figure things out. You can't sit there in Twitch chat and tell me 100% without like, hey, Terran doesn't have any late game tools. No, they do. They actually do. It's more like when to do it, what to do it, and how much to do it with, which is all discovered when you play that, you know. And I'm not talking in, in the thousand games, I'm talking like tens of thousands of games that Terrans play where they eventually will figure it out. Oh, nice Oracle here from Probe sees that Liberator and avoids the Widowmine as well. But now. Oh, does he though? Oh, my lord. No, he's out of it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Okay, yeah. okay. This one survives this time. So already a bit of a better opening for Probe in game two than game one. <laughs> Thank you, Wandering Whispers, for that Twitch Prime sub. Next cast is trying to see do you have Roddy's number with his blue shift knowledge? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm on it, dude. <laughs> yeah, she'll just uh, proxy him on blue shift. And and he won't see it coming. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so we're seeing, I believe, an identical build here from Expect down to the Widow Mine placement, trying to figure things out. Yep. The Raider gets a couple of probe kills. Nope, literally one. So not worth. Doesn't even take as much time to clean up. That was one of the reasons his Oracle was in the middle of the map doing nothing last game, was that he was sending his Phoenix back to kill the Liberator, I'm pretty sure. Um, but for the Terran side, we have a faster stim, okay? And plus one on the way so there's a slight difference slash improvement arming raid defenses do we have a second tank okay so not exactly the same build my bad but the the order of production buildings is, is actually quite similar it just won't be that big of a push very similar opening yeah hopefully uh, i mean people are saying that my microphone's clipping hopefully it's not too bad or it fixes itself but this has been happening a little bit in my connection to my north american friends thank you very much jeff by the way for the raid and also Ooh. for the resub what a cool guy Thank you. He's playing Stellaris. He's been playing that recently. It's a fun game. It's mm -hmm. one of those uh, grand strategy games. Those are so like daunting. Said, but in space. Yeah. They, they have like too many mechanics. Yeah. yeah. You, you need people to teach you how to play it. You can't just go into it blind and, and play it. It feels. Which kind of puts me off. Usually. Yeah. Forex games can be difficult like that. The only reason I play Civ so regularly is that it is... Like, I don't go into the nitty-grittiness of the economy, to be honest. I'm, I'm a pretty casual pleb player, but there is the option to play pleb and still have fun, or go into nitty-gritty and, like, really control every, like, district and stuff like that. But I pl I've played Solaris, and I've played some other 4X games, and I'm like, oh, no. Like, oh, I just <laughs> actually need to, like, know all these things. Oh, no. Uh, when I was younger, I really, really, really loved Master of Orion 3. It was a game that I played a ton of. Actually, no, Master of Orion 2 is the one I played the most of. 3 I didn't really like as much. But, uh, so, it, it leads me to, like, want to try Stellaris, but it's still, like, I'm, I'm with you. I'm, da I'm daunted by the task of learning of that game. <laughs> um, but Probe, you know, off the back of a much better opening here, has been avoiding a lot of the damage that Expect managed to get him on the early game. So now Probe has things like Plus One Armor, Charge, Templar Archives, Archons. He has a lot more tools here to fight back what okay. Expect has. <laughs> and the Stasis gets scanned again. Expect being very good at catching these. Yeah. It's, it's just been like kind of almost coincidental. You know, the first game you scan the third base, see what's on top of it, that makes sense. This game, scan what's behind the stalker, see if the army's there, that makes sense too. So a little unlucky for Probe. The Oracle is coming forward for another revelation there on the Marines. Gets a, a pretty much everything that he needs to know here against Terran. This ward once again scanned and killed here by Expect. Again, just, God, I wish I could catch every single stasis in my PvPs. Um, oh, these Widowmines getting very, very close to the army of Probe here. He's going to have to try and get out of there. Oh and he loses an Archon and a handful of Stalkers. Wow, that's uh, that was unexpected. <laughs> that was so many Widowmines, man. And they actually, uh, some of them had Revelation, so the, the fact that they're not dead yet, okay, there they go, was potentially a big deal. But even with them dying, it costs a lot of charge lots to the just extreme, extreme amount of bio that Expect has. Probe's going to be very careful. He's having a bit of a rough one here. He definitely needs a few more warp-ins. These Liberators are also going to complicate things. He doesn't have a ton of anti-air. 
Uh, his charge lots are getting on top of the bio and pushing the bio away from his liberators and archons, which do get the liberators, which is nice. But the tanker bio is still alive, and that's the biggest threat to probe right now. Mm, three shield batteries is really helping out. Whenever he retreats, these archons have been you know, reducing, but he is maybe running short a little bit on those charge lots. He's gonna need more. Or actually, maybe the archons can do it. Wouldn't mind splash away. On the sentries and a phoenix, the Archons can't really retreat from this? Well, that one shouldn't. That one's literally down to 10 health. Whoa. Oh. Damn, that was a pretty clutch Archon save there. Saving it with 10 HP, pull him back to the shield battery, and all of a sudden it's full of hit points again. Yeah. Protoss! Archon specifically, right? More shield batteries are being added on here as Probe uh, has the extra minerals, so maybe just a, a little bit of a gateway problem, but also might be a, a, a decision he is making because he's still relying a bit on these Archons. Mm, Blink is not even... It's only just now halfway done. Not that he has a lot of soccer to work with anyways. Um, that could be helpful as time goes on for these Liberator accounts that continue to grow. Expect does take his third CC as Pro takes his fourth Nexus. It's a tight game. Yeah, this is a this is a fun one here. A little bit of a tightrope walk. Wintermines once again connecting very nicely with those charge lots, getting rid of the front line of Probe almost immediately. It really feels like his charge lots, while they need to exist here, are just not finding their, their purpose at the moment. They keep getting eliminated so quickly by these Wintermines. And uh, Expect is starting, to, is starting to really spiral out of control with that army supply advantage. Like, he's got a lot of it right now. Um, looks like Probe's actually doing some damage on the other side of the map with his Oracle, or at least forcing an SCV pull. Um, but not really huge, not really huge uh, information there. I like that he's just, he knows that Expect has got a complete, uh, let me rephrase that, that Expect has actually got this third as his only target right now. Um, so I, I, I am a believing, I actually subscribe to the whole like, just get lots of shield batteries. If this is all that he's going to attack, then fine. There's no such thing as too many shield batteries. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, you know, shield batteries only help out so much when the Liberator count gets up and uh, nice and high. Although Expect is struggling on the Medivac count, so he's currently replacing those, and now Storm comes in. That's uh, really important to have Medivac energy for that. There's some decent splits and just that army supply still being heavily in the Terran's favor. Marauders being most of his army as well means they can tank one or two Storms accidentally. It's, uh, it's still looking like a strong position for Expect, but he is running low on some of those things you don't think about. You know, he didn't get plus one armor, for instance, even though he's getting an armory right now. His Liberator count does, you know, stay stable at one or two, so Probe can handle it. And his army is getting lower and lower almost every single time because the Medivacs are running out of energy. So now the charge lots suddenly yeah. get a couple of last hits. Like, it can all come together, but it's looking to be a little too strong for Expect, actually. Certainly. I mean, there, there is like a... It feels like in about a minute, Expect's going to start to really lose steam here. But that said, if he continues to do this planet, the damage, if, especially if he kills this Nexus, he is absolutely going to be happy oh. with this push. Big Storms! Ooh, that was a big one to the back line there. Losing so high Templar, though. Probe actually can't afford to lose too many more units. Expect has so many Marauders. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, for the Storms that blanket a lot of the army, there is Widowmine to just con constantly take out whatever Probe can muster in terms of charge lots. You know, he never seems to really have any retreating away. So he's really dependent on these storms. In fact, that's the only thing keeping him alive here. These stalkers are going to absolutely melt once those are gone. And uh, I don't know what Probe's supposed to do. I mean, he's trying to get to a robo now for some uh, immortals, which would have helped in the past, but he just doesn't have enough fodder anymore. Yeah, it feels like he's very, very stalker heavy here against the Terran that has primarily Marauders. It's a real tough ask. He needs more charge lots. Ghost Academy also on the way for um, for Expect, so he can get some some particular EMPs down. Probe's got a couple storms available. Expect is pulling back. It's amazing huh. to me that he's pulling back. He's up 60 army supply. Yeah, that is a weird pullback. He did miss out on Liberators because he's replacing Medivacs. Um, and he did just lose all of his Widowmine active wood of mines anyway so they just came active again so we actually did manage to save a couple but i guess those two things combined just make you a little bit suspicious plus you're on to bigger and better things so you can just wait and hold on play a safer game and go for ghosts which will take away the option of storm as well as any archons so that would make things a lot easier yeah i think this breathing space for uh, that probe has now is actually uh, you know i feel like expect could have ended the game if you continued to, to pressure but now that he's given Probe a lot of breathing space, Probe's got that fourth base economy. He's got a, mm -hmm. uh, a much better economy in general. And with his upgrades starting to get a little bit better, you know, he's got plus three armor on the way, plus one attack as well. You know, the upgrades for the Terran are quite bad, honestly. Um, if Probe gets a relatively solid army supply with a lot of tier three units, the Terran's going to be in a tough, tough trouble. Yeah, I really can't believe that Probe survived. And 
It is very important that he was able to squeeze in this third Nexus. It's been mining, not fully saturated until just now, I want to say, but but still a lot of probes. And now he's even getting the gases here. So the tech swap is going to be absolutely brutal for Expect. He might have missed his time to win, or it might be right here right now with the ghosts. Uh, I don't know what exactly he's thinking. He's not getting a ton of upgrades. He is getting a fourth base, though, so... It's like somewhat into the macro game here. Uh, and he finally finds that probe has this fourth, the Liberator, but not going to be able to get too many probes there. Well, actually, Liberator in the main base as well. Uh, probe's work count definitely getting hit pretty hard. Ooh, speaking of getting hit pretty hard, there is a big oh stem here from Expect. He's oh back. my god! Ooh, that's a big storm, though! Oh, why? Oh my gosh, if there is Colossus, all of these are this entire army would just be dead right now. Even as it is against a couple of soccer shots, a lot of these Marauders are one shot away. The Colossus appears. There we go. Two Colossus appear. Laser beams. This is really important. This is like... If he had not taken the extra storm, I think the concave would work in Expect's favor. But with the extra storm and just the severe lack of medivacs, he can't take on this army. I... Not anymore. And he didn't kill the Nexus. Probe still with a pretty beastly yeah. economy. Plus three armor's done. Plus one attack's about to be done. Extended Thermal Lance is about to be done. Like I, like I said before, like I, I I really thought that Expect was starting. To, he had to end the game a little bit earlier than that, with the with his choice of strategy. Like he wasn't being greedy. He wasn't trying to go towards late game. He wanted to go for a big attack and try and end the game with just overwhelming army supply. And he's giving Probe time to fight back here. This is a big concave, and I love those EMPs. But there are still storms available for Probe. He's got one to the back line here. One of those colossi that got picked off. Those marauders are still so scary. A nice EMP there. Hits the head high Templar. Probe might have actually just bundled this. Might have. That extra stim really hurts. And the Colossus, what are you doing, Colossus? Get a couple swipes in there. So many of these Marauders are so damn low. The Medivacs don't even have time to heal right now. There we go. I think even with the Colossus getting in there, it would have been game over. But good lord, Expect is making this really, really close. It's like suddenly one more storm, two more storms would just instantly take out 60 army supply. But they're not available. Trying to get to drop this out now as well to try and help out against these ghosts. I like it. You could actually, you know, Disruptors could be very, very nice here. He feels like he needs to go for something a little YOLO. At least Expect can finally kill this Nexus. Yeah. He's he been gets... trying to do that for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> it's, I mean, now it's easy. Just, you know, up for it. Third Nexus goes down, but it is still 3 base to 3, and Probe had cut down Expect's workers to something similar to his own Probe count. So the game's not over. Oh! <laughs> cool. He's not in Marauders there. Yeah. There's multiple disruptors out now for Probe. Can he pull back to the natural and get another juicy disruption over? There's that one from the natural. It comes in! Oh. Actually doing no effect connected nicely there. It looked like it was pretty good. Good lord. Good lord. The disruptor's still waiting for its uh, cooldown. A Colossus is still adding a lot of damage here, but more medevacs have appeared. So the Marauders are being healed every single time. Ghost still alive with some EMPs to help out. Uh, more disruptors are on the way, but they need to actually get perfect hits. And there's they're running out of fodder. They're going to get targeted down. Oh, man. This was close. And it looks like this is... Oh, my God. That Nova was fantastic. Oh. Probe maybe just doesn't have the numbers anymore, though. Expect us picking up and getting on out of there, avoiding those disruption Novas. I mean, that one kept the dream alive for Probe, but now Expect just seems to have broken through this natural and actually snowballs here. I think he's finally done it. GG. Gets the 2-0. Probe certainly 